So I did this test the other day and some, a couple people said, ah, oh, that test is useless, has no significance to metal detecting. Well, I totally disagree, right? When you get your coil next to big iron like that, a lot of detectors just overload, right? They just overload. They can't process that iron next to a gold ring or a dime, right? And this is very significant right here, right? I have the Deus 1, Deus 2, and the Simplex. And I tried on the Equinox and Fibio, the Equinox and Fibio, and the Simplex SP24 coil failed this test, right? There's a dime right there. I got this about three inches away, right? Actually, I'll move that away first. I want a machine that's going to be able to hit dimes, gold rings, lower conductors, higher conductors, and iron, right? And we've all been there. I'm going to shut this off here. I'm going to mute it. We've all been there before getting a big patch of iron and your detector just does, can't process all the iron, right? Because you're so close to the iron. You know, there's a lot of nails on or whatnot or big iron, deep iron, you know. Uh, metal detectors respond differently to iron. You know, deep iron, shallow iron, small iron, big iron. And I want a detector that I can be able to hit lower conductors and higher conductors in some heavy iron, right? So here's the simplex here. Field. It's hitting it. 15, right? It's hitting it. I'm right on top of that iron right there and the simplex is freaking smashing it out right equinox just goes silent the equinox and all the programs just goes silent when i get next to that big iron right there right and i've watched my videos you know i'm in heavy iron and i'm smacking coins out near the surface right all right park one Smashing it out, 16, right? I'm getting loud in my hair. 16, right? Now I'll move away from it. Full gain, right? Full gain here. Still hitting a little bit, right? The Equinox did not do well on this test. Neither did the Amphibio, right? The Amphibio likes the dime, but not the, the ring. But the Simplex SP24 coil did not do very well on this test either here. 15, look at that. Pretty solid 15 right there. If you're looking at your numbers when you're in big iron, you better go somewhere else, man, <laughs> right? Struggling a little bit on that. It's still hitting it though. It's still hitting it, right? I'll take that dime out of there, right? All right, All right. still hitting it. Now, oh, actually, I'll try. I'll try the the gold ring too. I'll try the gold ring. Almost forgot the gold ring. Field mode, no. Silent. Park one, silent. Right. Yeah, it's too unstable. All right, I'm getting a bunch of EMI right now. Deus one. I've tried to get the Deus two to perform like the Deus one, but I just can't. Um, the Deus one and the higher frequencies, 54 kilohertz, just is the ultimate, man. I'm telling you, the high frequencies is the way to go in the iron, man. I have had some really good finds with the Deus two in heavy iron in pitch tones, but in full tones, it's not the same as the Deus one, right? So I'm pitch program here. Raise my discrimination up to 10 because it's gonna, it's gonna fall on that big iron there, right? All right. All right, go up a little bit higher there, to 10 right here. And this is not a very deep program, right? It's really not a very deep detector anyway. All right, it's iron there, right? I'm at 14 kilohertz, right? I'll try this clad dime here. No, ain't gonna happen, All right? Gold ring, 
No. So what I can do is I can raise the frequency up to 54 kilohertz in this program here, right? right. I'll show you. A little bit of iron there, right? Just a little bit of iron. So I can drop my auto response down to two. Right. Put that dime in there. Just hitting the dime. Now the gold ring. Smashing it out, man. Right. I'm more I'm getting more iron tones than a target tone, right? Right? I'll even get close to it. Watch this. I'll even get right up on it. Right. I'll get this ring out of there. I'll crawl the deep program here. I'll try gold max. <laughs> oh boy, this can get ugly, man. Reactivity one, I'll have to go up a little bit on that. If I can push the buttons. Oops, 2.5, auto response three. Discriminate that iron out, right? Come on. All right, silent, All right? Silent. I'm in 14 kilohertz. Right. All right. I'm not going to hit it. Because right. I'm getting too close to it. Look, 54 kilohertz. Watch. 54 kilohertz. Right here. I'll even get away from it. Right. It's not falsing on the iron, so. Gold ring. Right here. Smashes it out. And I'll even go to pitch tones here, right? Change this tone, tonal option here, right? I'm not in, I'm not into three tones, right? Pitch tones is where it's at. I'll raise the pitch up a little bit here so we can hear it come out of the iron there. If I can push the button. Goal ring. Smashes it out, right? Right, it's a broken tone. With all machines, you gotta learn the tones on the machine, right? Learn what the false is. Right? Smashes it out. You know a target's in there, right? You know a target's in there, right? Compared to that, right? It's falsing on the head of the nail there. Put the gold ring in there, right? Right? Solid tone. The Deus is a tonal machine. If you look at the numbers, I can read you the numbers, but they're gonna be all be fives here, right? It's too much iron, right? If you're looking at the numbers, I don't know what you're gonna do if you're looking at the numbers. And that's not even the deep program, that's just the gold max program. I can go into testing that, the Deus one a lot more, but. A lot of people were saying that first, you know, you're all oh, you're making the day is too way too complicated or complicated or you're making it seem like it's um, a super complex machine. The day is two is a super complex machine. You're running multi frequencies a lot more complex than the day is one. I can tell you that just from my experience, 150 hours on the in field uh, testing with the day is two, a lot. A lot more stuff is going on than um, the Deus one with the Deus two, and the multi frequency actually, you know, it makes the tones a lot different, right? And all the there's so many different programs on the Deus. What on the Deus two? What other machine has 12 programs, right? 12 preset programs, and then another 12 customizable programs, right? No other machine has that, 
right? And all these programs are completely different. There's filters, there's high pass filters, band pass filters on, on these different programs that you cannot adjust, right? With the Deus One, it's quite a bit easier to, to learn because you can adjust those frequencies within those programs. In the Deus Two, you cannot, except for the mono program, and I'll show you that here in a second. And I suggest if you get the Deus One, if you're on the ocean, you know, multi-frequency is definitely gonna do a lot better than single mono frequency and it's gonna, you're gonna kill it if you're on the beach compared to other machines. With the Deus II, I suggest if you're on land, running it in single frequency mono program for a little while, not the multi-frequencies because the multi-frequencies, it's a lot harder to learn the tones in multi-frequency. You get a lot, lot of odd tones in trashy spots um, on coins co-located to foil or iron or bottle caps and there's a lot of features that i'm not really going to go into right now but i'll just show you the deus mono frequency right it doesn't do very well i'm telling you it doesn't do very well in this multi-frequency on these these targets right here right it just doesn't hit both of them very well right in all the programs right i'll just go to um fast program right A lot of adjustments need to be made for me to hit these targets, right? Both these targets in the same settings, right? There's a dime here, right? Barely hitting it, right? I can make a lot of adjustments to shut this machine up, try to shut it up, right? I can go to, um, Auto response, drop that down to two there. I'll raise the threshold up here to 20. All right, shuts it up a lot. All right, it's an iron. What can you expect from being in an iron, right? All right, it's hitting it. Now let's go with the silver dime. All right. All right. Not doing very well on the, uh, the, the dime there, right? The gold was doing fairly well because I'm in higher frequencies, right? You got to understand that these these programs are frequency specific. You can't really change, the, you cannot change the frequencies in these programs here, right? Deep high conductor, from a lot of EMI, I have to change the tones and all that stuff to get rid of the EMI. Pitch program, or go over to pitch. Zero silencer, raise my discrimination up a little bit here. Maybe do a frequency shift here to shut it up. All right. Smashing it out, smashing it out. All right, you get an iron tones on there, right? A little bit of falsing on the iron still. Obviously, obviously there is a target in there, right? Goal ring. Struggles, right? Now I'll go to mono frequency. Stock program here, right? Oh, come on. Come on, right there. Goal ring. All right. I'm gonna get falsing on that iron there. I have to raise my discrimination up, right? Discriminate the iron out up to nine point, uh, 13, 13, right? Iron, right? right. It's not hitting it, right? So I can go up to 40 kilohertz. See, so watch what happens, watch. Right, it's the tones that's hurting me right now, right? The tones. Three tones is not gonna do it, man. Pitch, 
pitch tones. Smashes it out, right? Pitch tones is the way to go with this machine, right? See the iron? Just iron. Go ring again here. Definitely a target in there, right? Don't look at the numbers. Don't bother with the numbers when you're in iron, right? Smashes that coin right out in 40 kilohertz. See that? Smashes the silver coin, or it's not silver coin, it's a clad coin. I can go my silencer down and all that stuff and change my frequencies in this mono program. But if you want to learn the Deus 2, learn it in the mono program, right? The multi-frequency is very complex. There's a lot of complex tones and it's doing a lot of things that's a lot more stuff that's happening that you don't realize when you're in multi-frequency operation. A lot of guys use the Equinox and single frequency and they're killing it. And once you stick it in multi-frequency, it just goes crazy, right? You get a lot of EMI, which I've experienced with the Deus 2, a lot of EMI, right? Look at what happened during this video, right? Getting a lot of EMI. And the programs are uh, frequency specific, so you can't change your programs. If you cannot, if you cannot get away from that EMI, if you, if you cannot attenuate that EMI, I don't want to drop my gain down, right? I want to have my gain up as high as I can. And if you don't know what those settings are going to do, um, how they're going to react to each other, you're going to get really confused. You're going to get very frustrated with this machine. Um, even in the even in the basic program or the general program, it's still a multi-frequency program, right? So if you're not able to get away from that EMI, don't you don't have to drop your gain down. Just go into mo a mono frequency and learn the Deus, like the Deus one. That's how I learned the Deus one. Just changing frequencies and seeing what frequencies do what to certain conductive metals, how that responds to iron. Because I'm I'm much more interested on how targets respond to iron or how how metal detectors respond to iron than just a target in clean ground right a lot of detectors will hit targets in clean ground once you get around iron that's where you find the good stuff and how is that detector going to respond to that iron in the ground right that's what i'm most interested in is how it's going to respond to the iron thank you for watching please subscribe